I'm sorry, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's video is going to be a short one, and I just thought that, like, again, we could use a little bit of a palette cleanser where nobody dies necessarily because sometimes that really starts to weigh on me and I start to feel, feel just very sad. So, um, I thought that doing a video that is crime related, but luckily nobody dies would be just kind of, like I said, a nice palette cleanser and it's a quick one, but it's kind of funny. So let's just jump right into it. One evening, Dan Saunders, 29 years old, was out drinking in his hometown, Wingarata, Australia in May of 2016. He went to an ATM to withdraw some cash for the evening, and he accidentally found a glitch in the system. When he transferred money between his savings and credits accounts, he was able to withdraw money, and when he withdrew the money from the machine, it would say transaction canceled, but the money he withdrew would like dispense anyways. So he ended up withdrawing about $1,300 from this one machine throughout the evening, throughout one evening. And the next morning he called his bank and to his surprise, it was as if he had never taken out the $1,300 from the night before. Amazing glitch. His accounts still had the same amount of money as they did before the evening. Dan figured out that if he visited that specific ATM between 1 and 3 a.m., it would be disconnected from the bank's network and that allowed him to create infinite money by transferring cash between his savings and credit accounts. Sorry, mosquitoes have been so bad where I live right now, so like my legs are just killing me. The money was withdrawing, but it just wasn't registering. Within only a couple weeks, Dan transferred $20,000. So of course, he started living up his life, naturally, as would I. He would buy rounds for everyone at his local pub, get meals at the very best restaurants in town, and was throwing parties nearly every weekend. Dan was generous with his newfound wealth and would pay off his friend's university tuition fees and he even sent a friend off to study in France. His real bank was going into debt, but Dan just kept taking out more and more money. I would too, I'm not gonna lie. In only five months, Dapper Dan spent around $1.6 million. Due to how he was living, he ended up losing his job and his girlfriend. Eventually, he felt guilty for what he was doing, and in June 2011... Okay, hold on a sec. That is simply not correct, because this happened in 2016. Let me look this up, because... Yeah, in June 2011... Oh, so I must have it mixed up, so he must have went out in 2011, and I accidentally said 2016. Oh, wait, I know why I thought it was 2016. Okay, that's incorrect. So it was in, within the same year. Yeah. Okay, so because he spent only five months doing all of this, so it would have been in um, 2011, beginning of 2011, that he fi figured out the glitch. And then in the same year, he called the bank and explained to them like what was going on with this ATM. They told him that the police would be getting in contact with him, but they never did. He called the bank two more times and they told him that the bank would be getting or that the police would be getting in contact with him, but they never did. So Dan went on to um, a national news program and told his story and how he accidentally became a millionaire. And then three years later, he was arrested on 111 counts related to fraud and theft. He was released in May 2016 after spending a year in prison and then went back to working in a bar and making $22 an hour. I kind of wish that Dan, like, okay, it's, like, the really selfish part of me, which is, like, oh, dude, just, like, keep taking money. Who cares? But then also it's, like, no, that's not right. So, I don't know, but that does pose a really good, like, morality question. If you found a glitch in the system kind of like this, would you keep extorting it? Or would you right away go to the bank? Or would you, like, live up life for a few months and then go to the bank and tell them, like, what was up? I'm curious to see what you guys would do, so please comment down below and please give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting and subscribe to my channel. However, if you don't, that's totally cool. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today anyways and watching this video and hopefully I will catch you in another video. But for those of you that will be, will be back tomorrow, I will see you then and I will have another true crime career story for you then. Stay safe. Bye guys. GoPro stop recording.